I'm building these loaders, actually revamping them because I've created them a while ago. And I'm displaying them using this uh, grid, right, with four columns and seven rows or whatever, how many are there, right? So you can pre press on any of the items and yeah, the this uh, shared element transition will appear. <laughs> and um, you can also change the color, right? So boom, 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 let's make them really pinky. Well, the problem now is that I would like to showcase each individual loader uh, inside the readme so in order to do so uh, what i need to create is basically a recording of each individual loader which is really time consuming right and for that i've created the um, base script that's using ffmpeg to crop each individual uh, cell item and generate an mp4 but also gif so let me walk you through the code so basically you have some input uh, this is already a recording so a full preview so this is the recording right nothing fancy it's basically the same grid and then i expose two different paths one for the videos uh, mp4s one for the gifs then i take the simulator screen size width and height then i'm taking the video width and height the recording basically i'm defining some rows and columns and then the names uh, for each individual uh, each individual loader uh, okay and calculating the the cell position and then uh, the y offset which is really important because i'm using this safe area view right um, then I'm defining the frame rate and whatever, I'm making some directories. But here is the funny part, right? So I'm iterating over the rows and columns and I'm just breaking. Uh, this is break two because I need to break two different loops. Uh, in case when the index is greater or equal uh, than the name, the names list, right? So this means that I, I don't want to uh, proceed with the uh, recordings uh, but otherwise uh, I'm defining the start text and the start y position based on the column and the row and also uh, for the rows I'm uh, adding the y offset which is the safe area view and then I'm, I'm, I'm going to ffmpeg to create basically the video with the name as the loader name um, I'm creating at 60 FPS uh, and I'm cropping this entire video by the cell width, cell height, start text and start y and then the output okay and then I'm increasing the index so increasing the index so this is for the mp4s and now uh, <laughs> github uh, is not able to play mp4s in line which are like local paths so I have to create GIFs uh, and to do so after this entire for loop of mp4s is created I'm actually taking them and create a GIF using ffmpeg as well but there is uh, some nice thing about this script because GIFs are not uh, really great in terms of quality and what I'm actually doing here is I'm using uh, some uh, palette generation. I'm uh, saying, you know, take a screenshot of this uh, video and generate a palette based on which you need to conform for the next frames. So I'm generating the GIF at 20 FPS. I'm rescaling it uh, by 200 and um, whatever the aspect ratio is, uh, keeping the aspect ratio then um, I'm outputting it to uh, that GIF using the same name and now if I open up the uh, uh, the scripts here so the extra video and run it and also open here the, the previews which is uh, where I'm going to save everything and hit enter you'll see videos appears and for each individual one I have a video 
which is uh, amazing running at 60 fps but the nice thing is that i also have the gifs and the quality it's amazing so yeah this is um, going to save quite a lot of time especially if you're working with grids and you want to showcase something uh, but yeah i found it uh, really nice it was like a nice uh, hack uh, to just save some time maybe in the future i'll update the loaders and whatnot so i don't want to go and manually generate the videos or the gifs uh, yeah